The following video is brought to you by Sword Airsoft, tactical superiority from hilt to blade. What's going on everybody? Uh, today we're going to do the review of the SEMA M14 EBR. Uh, EBR, of course, standing for Enhanced Battle Rifle, um, employed by a lot of the most U.S. Uh, military branches. I've personally seen a couple of these uh, downrange. They are as cool as they look, real steel as they are in the airsoft uh, world. Um, first of all, let's just go over the internals. Um, you have, an, uh, I believe it's an aluminum outer body. It's very heavy. It's very, uh, very sturdy. You're definitely going to have the real steel feel. Um, when you're lugging this thing around outside. Um, you got your standard crane stock, this is where your battery is housed. Uh, standard Tamiya connector. Uh, right now there's a nunchuck battery in it, uh, just a standard, it's not a LiPo or anything. Um, I did run a LiPo through it. Uh, same, you know, it's good results as you're gonna get with any kind of a LiPo. Um, you got a standard, uh, not really a standard pistol grip as it's not connected to your uh, trigger well, um, but it is just one Allen key up in there, uh, so you can tighten it down. Uh, you got a mono rail up until your bolt, um, two side rails, and your bottom rail. Uh, you have your hand grip, which I believe this uh, this plastic piece is removable, so you can take that off if you don't want it. Um, metal outer barrel, flash hider, and everything. Uh, the bipod on it didn't come with it, uh, it's just an it's the extra piece on there. Uh, sling mounts, you got two here on the back, one on the side that you can take off and move it around to uh, different points on here on the gun. Um, magazine, this is your standard, just M14. Um, from what I've read, you can use other uh, aftermarket. I believe uh, the SEMA is the most compatible with about any other brand. Um, fits right in, nice snap. You got an ambidextrous safety here, ambidextrous mag release. Uh, the bolt, which this bolt, it's, it's a little dirty, so it's going to stick, but it's got a very nice, crisp sound to it. Uh, gives them that extra realistic feel. Um, your sights, standard, standard M14 sights. Um, you can adjust for a windage elevation here with the twist. Um, the bolt funk, the uh, bolt catch, to my knowledge, is not working. Um, unless I just haven't done it right or just need to clean it out because it's dirty. Um, Range-wise, uh, we'll link in a, or we'll uh, splice in a video here of the range. We're getting stock, stock barrel, stock motor, stock everything, hop up and all of that. Um, we're getting about 170, 165, 170 feet with it, um, which isn't bad, you know, for a, for a stock gun. Um, we're going to see about getting... We'll see if I get some extra parts for it, uh, barrel and hop up probably. Um, and see what kind of range we get. Um, overall, I like the gun. Um, it's very, it's very heavy. It's realistic feel. You're gonna, you're gonna get what you're paying for here. It's, uh, it's a very nice setup. I mean, you can make it as, as nice as you want. You can do. You can keep it like this. You can put other things on it. You can. It's a very modular system especially with all the rail systems and uh, everything like that. So, if you guys like the video, hit subscribe. Um, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, call sign Stallion. Um, appreciate it, we just broke over 50, uh, 50 followers in a, in a day, I believe. So, uh, getting up there. Um, also wanna give a shout out to Sword Airsoft Ohio. Uh, go check them out on Instagram, their YouTube page, um, and the Facebook page, it's the uh, it's the team that I've been running with uh, this year. Um, the field that we're going to most frequent is Assault Airsoft in uh, Canton or Louisville. Um, great field, great guys. Uh, Justin, is, we're, they're, they're opening up their, their outdoor field. Got a lot of ops coming in uh, on a smaller mill, some events. So doing great things with that. Um, so thank you guys for checking out the video. Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe, like, leave comments for something else that you would like to see, and we'll try to get it up and other videos to come. Thank you. Okay, so this is with the camera zoomed in. Um, the 
dead grass spot right in the middle of the frame is ranged in I want to if I remember right it's ranged in at just about 170 feet um, so let's see if we can see some BBs hit there with it Snapchat, you know.